Hi folks, back out at the range again today. I thought I'd do a real quick video on something that I enjoy doing a lot, and that is high power rifle shooting. In this video, the only thing I'm really looking at doing is showing you the positions that we shoot from and give you a little bit of an idea of what it's like to shoot high power. When you shoot a, a, a national match course, there are four stages to it. There is a 200 yard standing stage, which is slow fire, 10 rounds in 10 minutes. There is a 200 yard rapid fire stage, which is 10 rounds in 60 seconds with a reload. There is a 300 yard rapid fire stage, which is 10 rounds in 70 seconds from a prone position. Uh, there's also a reload in that stage. And the last stage is 20 shots from 600 yards that is also slow fire, uh, 20 shots in 20 minutes. Uh, it is a very challenging type of shooting. Uh, for those of you that enjoy shooting scoped rifles, just like I do, uh, this type of shooting where you use no optics, no bipods, no bags or anything like that, it's just you and your rifle and your sling, is a very good way to improve your shooting overall. The better you shoot in this type of, of shooting, the better you will shoot when you have the optics, the bipods, the bags, and all that type of thing. So without further ado, let's take a look at the stances you shoot from. The first one is standing. In the standing position, and this is the only position that you do not use your sling, you notice the sling is attached to the rifle though. You start with your feet about shoulder width apart. You've got to support your rifle. And this is the position that you will use to shoot your 200 yard standing slow fire. The second stage you'll shoot from is sitting, and in this stage, and also in the prone stages, you will use your sling for a support. So we'll take a look at each one of those. When you shoot from a sitting position, you'll be using your one and only shooting aid. That is your sling. There are two main kinds of slings that are used. Mine is a replica of a 1907 military sling. You'll also see some shooters use a web sling. In order to use this properly, you make a loop. For your arm right here. You turn it half a turn outboard, you insert your arm as far in as you can. Then I am going to take up the slack and tighten the sling down. As tight as I can so that it doesn't slip on my upper arm while I'm shooting this string of fire. Then my hand goes around and underneath, just like that. When I raise the rifle, you can see my front hand is supported by the sling. I'm going to roll into my position just like this. Notice my elbows are resting on my knees. There are different types of sitting positions. You'll see some shooters with their knees open. You'll see some shooters with their ankles crossed. This is the way I do it. And this is the sitting position that you'll shoot the 200 yard rapid fire string from. Next is the prone position, which was used for both the prone rapid fire and the prone slow fire, which is the final stage. The last two stages of the course, you'll shoot from a prone position. In the prone position, again, you are using your sling for support. It is attached to your arm very much the same as it is when you're in a sitting position. When you are in the prone position, again, your front hand basically acts as your rest for the rifle as it's supported by the sling. This is also your gross elevation control to be able to adjust your fire. The rifle, again, goes into your shoulder, nice into that deep pocket, and you're rolling into the position so that everything feels nice and steady and you can squeeze off your shots one at a time. Even though it's called rapid fire, your rapid fire string is still a very precise course of fire. Each shot is sighted. You're just doing it a little bit more quickly than you normally do. The slow fire stage, you get one minute per shot and it is pure precision. And when you're back at 600 yards trying to squeeze those things into that uh, 10 ring is a little bit of a challenge, especially when you're dealing with wind.
Hope you enjoyed this video and found it interesting and helpful. If you'd like more information on shooting in high power matches, uh, you can contact the Civilian Marksmanship Program, uh, www.odcmp.com. And as always, you can contact the National Rifle Association's Competition Division uh, and get more information that way. Hope you enjoyed the video. You all take care. Bye-bye.